for the players themselves, how many players have an opportunity to, to accomplish that. That's number one. So it's great for them. For us, it's all part of a legacy building situation where, you know, when we talk about USA basketball and the infrastructure, when you have someone who has been, who has, has the equity to the degree that they have, that they have participated in three or four Olympic tournaments, that's, that's a huge thing. And that's what we wanted to accomplish 10 years ago when I took over, put in infrastructure that's going to last a long time. Hi, Jerry. How, how, are you? how are you? Good to see you again, my friend. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, speaking with Jerry Colangelo, and he is, of course, here. Day two, mini camp 2015, and every year, Jerry, it, the program continues to become your vision. Can you recap very briefly from day one to the present how USA basketball has returned to the proportions that it was in the past? Well, I think the last 10 years are something we can celebrate, but we can't just rest on laurels you know this is about we've accomplished a lot in these in the last decade with the gold medals etc and international competition but to me the most important thing is we've created a culture we've created a, a family where it's so indicative when you see the guys who are here who are committed and as we go forward we want to continue building the legacy of USA basketball and the relationship that we have with all the players so it's a, it's a wonderful time to celebrate. And of course, uh, with uh, Coach Krzyzewski coming back on and continuing down this path with you and USA Basketball and of course all the players from the NBA, again, strengthening our position in the world vis-a-vis uh, -vis from last year's FIBA World Cup tournament winning, winning that in the gold medal. Well, when you pick someone to be a leader alongside you, Coach K was right there at the top and he's done an incredible job. Um, you know, he's, he's forged relationships with everyone in, in the world of basketball and in particular with the, with the players. And so there's respect. Yes. You know, we could talk about loyalty, we could talk about commitment, but when you get, when you add respect to that equation, it means a great deal. And of course, the entire structure within USA Basketball has continued to grow as well, with more programs becoming available to the public, with coaching programs, the youth development three on three, and of course, it's going to be endless with the way we look at the, the game of basketball, thanks in large part to your vision, and of course, USA Basketball. Well, we're all about growth. We're about the growth of the game, and where we need to put our resources is in the youth. So our youth development in U, uh, USA Basketball is the future of the game. And so uh, that's a, a very exciting part of uh, what, what lies ahead. And lastly, now to kind of dovetail over to the men's success, the women as well. I know you keep a very good eye on the women's program as well. The women's program is as strong as it possibly can be. And we take great pride in the fact that we are defending gold medalists in just about every category, men's and women. Uh, all the youth teams, etc. So we have a lot to be proud of. 2016, right around the corner, Mr. Colangelo. Your thoughts on final preparations from, from that, if you can give us a, a vision, say, into March or April of next year. Well, I'm so anxious, I'm going to keep my bags packed so I don't have to pack when it's time to come back here next summer. Okay. Thank you very much, okay. Jerry Colangelo, Managing Director of the USA Basketball Men's Program. We'll be back with more of the Selling Sports Scene. Speaking with Clay Thompson, Clay, we congratulate you on, of course, winning the world title last year with the Golden State Warriors. But also, looking back to last year, you had um, really geared up for the gold medal at the World Cup, and you completed that as well. So you are on a very, very strong high, very good rhythm. Your thoughts on this camp now in preparation for the Olympics? Oh, I love coming to the USA Basketball. Just being around this many good players, is, it just rubs off on you. Um, you learn something new every summer, and I've been blessed to be a part of it since I was a rookie. And, I'm really grateful for it. And your family, of course, very proud, and all of your alumni and from Southern California, Orange County, really, really very happy in, in the success that you've uh, uh, earned for yourself. And, of course, that sheds back the light to your programs back in Southern California. Your thoughts on uh, continuing in this rhythm and continuing in this fashion? Um, you know, uh, you, uh, you got to embrace it. Uh, you know, I, it, being a champion is something you can't take for granted, and... You know, it comes with a lot of notoriety, it comes with a lot of people coming up to you, but uh, you got to embrace it, man, because you don't know how, when the next time you'll have a chance to do that again. 
um, and people do it out of respect. You know, they respect what we've done, how far we've come, and you know, it's been an awesome summer. I feel like you know, uh, just been just being around the country and seeing how much love the Warriors are getting. It's it's really special. And we're looking at there's seven players from representing our area in Southern California. Of course, you, Russell Westbrook, it's Kevin Love. It's, it's got to be the most on the team, and that's a. Uh, Yes. That's pretty amazing. Just speaks for the, uh, so many, so much volume about how deep the talent pool is in California. And as Kevin Durant said, I think one of his interviews, steel sharpens steel. This is one of the very best elements in the world to be right where you are in this moment to continue to, to grow your game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, we all love being here. These are the best players in the world. Um, we got MVPs here, all NBA guys, all stars, future all famers, coaches, future all famers, and. Just so much NBA personnel, it's, it's a great thing to be a part of. And this is the last quick question because we, we now know this is the off season, but pretty soon you'll be in camp and then the thoughts are for the 2015 season, defending champ champions. Yep, uh, it's time, it's, you know, we have every uh, ambition and to, you know, repeat. I mean, we have the ability to do it. Obviously health is going to play a key role, but, you know, we built our team in case one guy goes down, another will step up. So. You know, we don't need that much motivation, man. We know that feeling of winning a championship, what it takes. And uh, that's what we really want and we're going to strive for. Warriors looking good, and congratulations to Thank one you. of the best of the best. Thank yeah, you, Clay Thompson. It. Okay, good luck to you. We'll be right back with more of UCLA Sports Scene. The other surgery wasn't my patella. It was similar, but it wasn't like the patella tendon. Carmelo, como estas, mio? How been? Okay. Un saludo, greeting to all your fans out in East L.A. and Southern Cal. You know, they're watching and watching with a lot of pride on you because you represent us. Thank you. You represent our Latino culture. Thank you. And we embrace you for that. But your thoughts on being here as a big-time veteran, gold medal winner, you are one of the cream of the crop, the best of the best. Your thoughts on coming back into USA basketball for this season? Man, it, 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 it feels good. I mean, just to be able to, even, even though it's two, three days, it feels good to be here. It feels good to be around the guys and see guys and you know, mingle with the guys and talk and catch up because we get we, we beat each other up every day of the season. So now we get a chance to just be on one team now. And we see the brotherhood, the fraternity of the elite right here, the best of the best. You guys are steel, sharpening steel. I think that's what Kevin Durant yeah. mentioned. So we can only be very, very confident about the future, at least for the, the Olympics. We're good to go. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we should be good. We just got to continue working and, you know, pushing each other the way we've been pushed, the way we pushed each other these last couple of days and over the past couple of years. And, we would be all right. I mean, at the end of the day, we, we, we can we can set ourselves the best players in the world, and we got to keep working at that and keep believing in that. So. Hey, Carmelo, what maybe one of the questions you may not be asked quite all the time on the circuit, but for us as Latinos, yep. watching you, knowing that Noche Latina in the NBA is a huge event, uh, tell us how that's been going for you in New York. It's been good. I mean, New York is a, is a huge you know, Latino market, man, so for me to be a part of that and, you know, kind of, you know, embrace that and, you know, especially with what I have going on in, in, in Puerto Rico and in New York. So yeah. all of that, you know, comes into play and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of that. And I'm sure in Puerto Rico they're asking you to come back and, and yeah. help the, some of their players to yeah, develop yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, they, they asking, they talking. Okay. Lastly, uh, Carmelo, there are many media here to talk to you, but your heart of gold you give and you continue to give to our youth yep. and the communities, whatever it's a sports cause or a social cause. Some of the projects you've been involved with lately. Well, we, I mean, I, I I built the court. I donated a court in, in, in the Bronx of New York. Uh, after this, I'm going to Puerto Rico for my for my weekend. Uh, do some things, donate a court, and you know just get involved with the community more and more. And you know, so I'm I'm going from here down to Puerto Rico. And lastly, your better half, your Mrs. Anthony yeah. Lala, of course, doing very well. A little bit about her because many people ask uh, that connectivity to yeah. very very widely known uh, yeah, well, people. I mean, she's she's 100 percent Puerto Rican, so. You know, she she has that, that Latino blood in her, and she, I take my hat off to her, man. I, I never saw anybody work as hard as her, and, you know, to be where she's at right now and continue to work that hard. So I take my hat off to her. We take her hat off to you. Thank you. Carmelo, siempre right. hermano. Thank Gracias. you. Yes. Okay, we'll be back with more of UCLA Sports Scene. Russ, 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 how you doing today? I'm good, baby. How you doing, brother? Doing well. Glad to see you back here. Yes, USA sir. Basketball, of course, the best of the best right here. Steel, sharp, and steel, as your teammate Kevin Durant said. But right now, looking to the Olympics, your thoughts and preparations? Uh, just trying to get right. Trying to get everybody back. Uh, we got a lot of guys here. Trying to find a way to be able to it's kind and of put it all together. One of our angles here was uh, this team is well stocked with at least seven players representing from Southern California, and you know who they are. They're all your good yeah, teammates, yeah, yeah. and you got to feel proud. And of course, our kids in Southern Cal looking course, up to you, man. Representing the LA, always representing where I come from, 
and uh, got to got to make sure I go out and represent the right way. Of course, losing your high school, always following you, UCLA, all oh, your fans, OKC, crazy for Russell Westbrook. Quickly, the thoughts on 2015 and the NBA season. Uh, just try to come in with a good mindset, uh, stay healthy, and uh, try to find a win to win. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, good sir. luck. OK. Yeah, speaking with Kevin Love, back to back. Kevin, this year our theme is seven players from Southern California on this roster here. It's got to give you a lot of good feeling to know that Southern Cal is represented right here. Feels good. SoCal is always a great place. Portland, Oregon, Minneapolis, Cleveland. We've got a lot of great places. And Kevin, let's talk about uh, the uh, situation now for you here. Team USA, obviously coming back from your injury, but Jerry Colangelo is very, very broad-minded. He wants the best of the best. Your thoughts on the re re uh, re rehab and, and getting ready for the Olympics? Uh, I feel good. You know, I'm probably about a week away from being back on the court, but also, uh, as you mentioned, Jerry, he, he creates a family-type atmosphere here. Coach K has been great since day one, so it's nice to be here with the guys. It's tough not being able to play, but uh, we'll be out here soon enough. Uh, Gavin, you've got to look now at this experience with USA Basketball. This is, as I say, a break in your regular, uh, as I say, knock them dead schedule during the NBA. This gives you a chance to kind of relax, be very, very sociable with your teammates, as Coach K has always stressed, bonding. Yeah. And that continues to be the case, correct? Uh, there's definitely a lot of bonding going on here. we got guys that are that work well together, guys you wouldn't necessarily know throughout the NBA season, so it creates a, uh, as I mentioned, a family type atmosphere that we're going to continue to have here the next couple days. We'll link back up when uh, training camp starts and we'll go from there. And Kevin, let's talk about the, uh, the support here for the uh, blue and white game. You'll, you'll be on the court somewhere in some way to, to support the team? Yeah, I'll be out there in, in, in some way or fashion supporting USA Basketball. I don't know which team they're going to put me on or where I'm going to be sitting, but I'll be out there representing. And lastly, looking back on the local scene for UCLA and the Bruins, the resurgence there. It seems like the Bruins are getting it back together. Always. Uh, it doesn't matter to me which team it is with UCLA. As long as they're doing great, I'm happy with it. So always representing, always trying to do right by the school, right by the university, and always love them. And last but not least, to the youngsters that are watching our program and are still Kevin Love fans to this day, now even more so with being on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Just as they follow you, Kevin, you know our fans are crazy. They love their, their players. They love to watch them perform. Your thoughts on the youngsters that are in their programs, in the youth development program for USA Basketball? Uh, it's really great. I mean, since 2004, when Jerry kind of started to recreate the atmosphere here and the culture, it's been truly, truly phenomenal to see what's happening, especially with the, the, the younger demographic and the grassroots program. A lot. It's made, it been, been made cool again to be part of USA Basketball. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Kevin Love, we thank you for always giving us the opportunity to thank speak you. to you, sir. Good Appreciate luck to you now. You. Okay, there he is, Kevin Love, UCLA Bruin now. Cleveland Cavaliers, he's on the verge of hopefully a, a championship for next season. We'll be back, East LA Sports Scene. And USA Basketball welcomes Jimmy Butler here to the camp. And Jimmy, your first time. But first of all, before we even start, how are you? I'm, I'm great. You know, um, it's, it's a pleasure to be here, that's for sure. Energy, positivity, you folk come right into the fold. Like you've been here for, for ages. You, you know the players. You know the drill. You know what Coach Krzyzewski and Jerry Colangelo are, are asking for. And you're here to deliver as, as they've requested. Your thoughts on being in the camp now? Uh, I mean, I go up against these guys uh, year in, year out, night in, night out. So I, I basically know what they bring to the table. As far as uh, Coach K and everybody goes, um, you know, you've seen them on TV. You know, you know what they're looking for. You know what they're asking you to do. So uh, it, makes it, it makes it really easy. But more than anything, you watch the way all these other players are here and, and what they do and how they go about things because they have gold medals and they've been here before. It's easy to follow in their, foot, uh, in their footsteps. And you are making a noise, a big, beautiful noise uh, in your career. We compliment you for that with the Bulls. and. Uh, it's only upward, onward, and upward. Your thoughts now for the 2015 season, uh, Jimmy, as you get ready? Uh, just try to help win. Continue to get better like I've done throughout my career. Don't get complacent. Don't settle. And I think I'll be fine. Um, right now, I'm moving in the right direction. We want to um, keep doing that because the season is going to be upon us before we know it. And in looking at uh, being here as part of a fraternity or brotherhood of the best in the world right here, you fit right in, you're good to go, and uh, what they've asked you to play in the position here for USA Basketball, can you tell us what that is? Uh, what position I'm going to be playing? Either the two or the three? or I don't know. I okay. guess we'll, we'll find out whenever the time presents itself. Uh, okay. My job is just to beat, though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just go out there and play hard. And do in the I'm off to do. and in the off season when you're not playing uh, sports, you're not doing NBA, you're not even USA basketball. We understand you give very, very much back to your community. Can you tell us a little bit about the community projects you you're involved uh, with? Man, in anything with kids. I, I really love kids. I think they're the future of this this country, this nation. Um, and then I 
I just love the city of Chicago, to tell you the truth. So anytime I can show my face around there and, and, and helping schools and, uh, you know, the, the less privileged, yes. um, I'm always about that because um, I'm, I'm not a basketball player. I'm a person first. Yeah. And uh, I got to change the world with the talents that I was given. And that caring and that heart of gold comes from your, your folks, your parents. Talk a little bit about how that started. Uh, I mean, my story is a little different than everybody's, but I think everybody's story is. I don't really get into it, but uh, my past made me who I am. Uh, I wouldn't change it for the world, and uh, I got a lot of good people in my camp, a lot of good people in my corner that uh, keep me moving in the right direction. Jimmy Butler, well said. We thank you. It, man. Not thank the last you. time we'll talk to you, sir. It's good luck now. All right. Take now. care. All right, UCLA Sports Team. We'll be right back. And speaking with another world champion here, Harrison Barnes, the Golden State Warriors. And the last year, you were here in camp, gold medal, World Cup, World Championship. Harrison Barnes, good to see you again. How are you? <laughs> good to be here. How you doing, man? I should have asked that earlier. I'm so sorry. I should have greeted you, but in the time crunch, excuse me for that. But again, your thoughts on being in this year's camp and getting ready for the Olympics next season? Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, anytime you're a basketball player and you can compete against the best, uh, you know, work alongside these guys, try to learn some tips. Uh, and that's what it's all about. So definitely happy to be here. The best of the best, and you can't get any better than that. This is one beautiful environment. There's a lot of camaraderie, a lot of joy, a lot of comp competition. But right in the middle of it, there's Harrison Barnes doing his thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just want to try to come out here, you know, get better every single day. Um, you know, like I say, you know, work alongside these great players and, uh, you know, try to show them what I can do. Harrison, take us back through the season last year. Boy, what a run. What a run it was. And all the way to the finals and then the ultimate world championship. You briefly recap what it meant to you and the, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the thoughts on this coming season. Now it was a great run. I mean, just to be able to go, you know, go through that whole season. Uh, you know, we kind of got better every single time, every single game, you know, every single series. And you know, to be able to finish with the championship, it was special just because, you know, in this league, you know, teams don't always stay together. So I'm glad we were able to get one. And, uh, of course, now that you're a champion, your family celebrates. Can you give us a little insight as to how that went, how it continues to be a big part of your family culture now? Man, it, it was great. Uh, you know, just to be able to have my mom and my sister be at the finals, to be able to have them at the parade, to be able to bring the trophy back to Ames twice yes. um, to my hometown. So that was, that was really special. Okay, and uh, again, right here in camp with Clay and Stephen Curry. Wow, you couldn't ask for a better combination, and hopefully we'll see that in the blue and white game tonight, tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. You know, that would be great, and you know, hopefully you know, we'll all be in Rio together. Last thing, Harrison Barnes, you are a giver. You love humanity. You told us that in your interview. What uh, are, are you doing on the offseason with some of your, your community projects? Oh, uh, like, uh, you know, Reading Academy in Ames, Iowa. Um, for kids, partnering up with the Ames Public Library for that, and then in Oakland, um, just my summer reading program for the Boys and Girls Club. Kids there, you know, kids, you know, if they read a certain amount of books, do some reports, um, they get to go on a couple of field trips in the summer, just kind of keep them engaged. That old adage, read to succeed, primarily in your vocabulary to them, of course. <laughs> yeah, education is huge, and you know, I think you know today with obviously you know social media and TV and all things that are going on, you know, I think reading sometimes get overlooked. Here's some bonds we thank. You. And good luck. We'll see you at the game tomorrow. All right. Okay. All right. There he is, a world champion. We've spoken to two out of the three. We don't have Steph Curry, but hopefully before we break camp here or after the game tomorrow, we'll have comments from Steph and Curry as they come here in a spirit of joy, admiration, respect, compatibility, all those brotherhood. Good word to describe it. And, that, and that's what Coach K has always stressed along with Jerry Colangelo. Your thoughts on coming right into that type of an environment? It's been great. You know, I think... He's definitely said this is a, a brotherhood, and I, and I felt it from day one. I feel like everybody's welcomed me. I feel like everybody likes each other. I feel like everybody cares about each other, and I think that's what's been so important, you know, in a win in the past. Marcus, uh, how would you describe what our players do for our country now in their off time? Because there's so many demands on their time, but right now, basketball is it never stops. I think guys have been great about, you know, a committing. You know, I thought, you know, we had, you know, one or two summers where, you know, guys were, you know, weren't interested. And I thought Coach K took over and he kind of put that fire back under guy, you know, back in guys' bellies about, you know, you know, uh, you know, wanting to, uh, you know, to, uh, to uh, rep USA and, you know, and wanting to be involved with it and, and, and showing guys it's an honor. Yes. Two very quick things because they're calling everybody to board the buses uh, because tomorrow is a big blue and white game. But in your off time, community-wise, you're, you're a very, very generous individual in your community, wherever they may be, uh, where you be going to San, San Antonio, but also for so many years in Portland. Some of the, uh, the projects you worked on it were very, very uh, important to the community. No, thank you. I mean, I always try to get back in my own way. You know, I, I think, you know, most of the things I've done, you know, haven't been, you know, publicized. And, you know, I'm more about doing it, you know, from the heart. 
in a not for the show. But um, I have a, a back to school event. Uh, I think Saturday in San Antonio, you know, you know, kind of, uh, you know, uh, getting started in their community, you know, trying to give the kids uh, a day, you know, where they can have fun. You know, we've hired, you know, people to come and, you know, play games at a park and things like that. So okay. I'm looking forward to that. And lastly, 2015, this will break off very quickly. The summer will be over and then it's going to be time to report to camp and you'll be brand new, San Antonio. Your thoughts and on the acceptance of the community and the players and the franchise there in San Antonio? Um, I'm excited and nervous, you know, it's a, a new start for me. I've been in the same organization for 10 years and you know, I think, you know, I knew them and they knew me, so it wasn't, you know, much learning there. And uh, I'm looking forward to, the, you know, going to San Antonio. I feel like it's a, a first class organization. I feel like their fans are very loyal and, and uh, you know, and great. So it's going to be new for me and, you know, I'm going to be nervous in the beginning, but I think I'll be fine. Marcus Aldridge, well said. Well, thank you all for the time, sir. And good you. luck to you and all you do. Success and Godspeed. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. East LA Sports Team. We'll be back in a moment. Coming to USA Basketball Training Camp.